Courtney, great to see you. Just how delighted are you to be back here permanently? Yes, um, a very proud moment for myself, you know, having um, playing the back end of last season here and doing well um, on a personal level and doing well as a, as a club, as a collective. So, um, yeah, I'm just happy to be back and continuing my journey with uh, this great club, Aston Villa. Let's just touch back on last season, which obviously turned out to be a pretty memorable one. Just try and sum it up for us as a whole, if you can. Um, I mean, yeah, it was, you know, I come here in January. Uh, I had every confident, um, uh, yeah, I was confident that, that, that the club could get promoted. Otherwise, I wouldn't have come in here. I wouldn't have come here because I, you know, I have big aspirations um, myself. And, you know, to, it's easier. Everyone was saying we're going to get promoted, this, that, and the other. And it's, you know, like you say, it's easier said than done. So, you know, having come here, you know, I didn't start. I didn't start off as 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 I'd like to, but you know, to be able to like turn things around and um, you know, I'd say win the fans over with the with the song they, they sing, and you know, it's just um yeah, it's a good it's a good moment in my career at the moment, and you know, I uh, just hope that we can you know as a team kick on in the Premier League now and you know give the fans um, more 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 to sing about and and to brag about. And the celebrations after the final, they weren't too bad, were they? Oh yeah, the celebrations were crazy. To be fair, um, you know, ever since I come to the club, the Villa fans have, have really like shown me how how passionate they are about about their club, and you know to to get promoted and, and do it at Wembley on, on such a such a great day. You know, the fans. Uh, I, it was we was in the uh, in the hotel at the after party with our f uh, families and stuff like that, and there was like hundreds and hundreds of fans outside the hotel st uh, still singing and stuff. So yeah, it was. It was good to see. It was good to see the passion from the fans. You know, they they um, fully deserve it. So, yeah. And looking at your individual performance throughout your loan, how do you think you fared as a whole? Yeah, I thought I thought I'd done well. Um, to be fair to myself, you know, uh, I'm naturally a centre back, but you know, this day and age, you've got to be able to play anywhere. Well, I won't say anywhere, but if you're a defender, you've got to be able to play anywhere across the back, um, in my opinion. And you know, I played left back and centre back and. Right side of the back. So yeah, I thought as if I'd done well and yeah, I was happy with how I performed. Touched on it already and the fans really took to you, didn't they, giving you your own song. How much did you enjoy hearing that from the terraces, hearing your name sung? Yeah, it was it was great to be fair. Um really it was just motivation to me, um and to like hear it, like coming through the speakers at the stadium, like warming up before the game and stuff like it's just yeah, it gives you that, that extra push, like yeah, like today I've got to, I've got to do my thing. So yeah, it's good. It's good motivation. I like it. Coming back to the present day, was the aim always to try and seal a permanent move when you initially joined on loan? Um, you, no one really knows the future. Um, you know, you can never look look too far ahead. When I first come here, it was just literally to just come and I haven't played yeah. in ages. It was literally to just come play games and try and get the club back um, to the Premier League. Um, so yeah, I, w I wasn't really thinking about, I wasn't really thinking too far ahead, but now we're here and I've signed in a permanent, like, it, just, it just feels right, it just feel, I just feel, feel good, I'm just ready to kick on and get started. And since signed on the dotted line, have you had a chance to speak to Dean Smith at all? And if so, what has he said? Yeah, I've, I've spoke to, to Dean Smith and, and JT yeah, and they're both you know, happy to, to have me here and I'm happy to you know, continue to like, uh, listen to them and work, work with them and just, just to develop more as a player, like, it's, it's good, I've, I've enjoyed my time um, working with them, I'm just excited to, 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 yeah, to like literally con continue that. So, yeah. Just touching on pre-season then, we're heading off to America soon with a game against Minnesota. Is that something you look forward to pre-season? Uh, yeah, pre-season, it's got to be done, there's no hiding. Like, it's, everyone knows it's going to be tough, it's going to be hard and you know, once you get to that certain level of uh, fitness and, and match sharpness, you're just, just literally waiting for the first game of the season, which is very important. So. I'm looking forward to it, yeah, I'm really, really excited. And looking ahead to the Premier League then, when a footballer starts their career, is this the ultimate aim, playing in the Premier League? Oh yeah, definitely, I'd say, um, you know, you hear all the time, the Premier League's the, the best league in the world, and for me it is, like, um, you know, it's, it's really, really competitive, and every game is is massive, and there's a lot of pressure, which is good, and that's what, that's what we're, that's just what every player dreams to dreams to be doing. So now that I'm, you know, I've got an opportunity to to play in the Premier League, I'm really really happy and just excited. Just can't wait to literally get started and 
and show people what I'm, what I'm made of. And I think it's easy to forget that you're still only 23, so I think it's fair to say as well, isn't it, there's still plenty more to come from you. Yeah, definitely. Um, still, uh, people say 23 is young. I don't. I don't. Th I think I'm. I'm ready now to step up to the plate. I don't feel as if I'm a, a young boy anymore. So, you know, uh, I'm not gonna sit and talk too much. I just literally, like I've said before, I can't wait for preseason. Uh, I need to just get my head down, focus, um, and yeah, just let my football do the talking, really. So yeah, but yeah, there's, there is more. There's, there's much more to come there. So. So as an individual, what are your aims for the upcoming season? Are you a person that sets yourself targets? Um, not really, it's just every, every day. <laughs> just literally every day, just training and, you know, um, every game we play. Just, just to give it my all and to give it 100%. Um, yeah, literally. So I don't really set any, set any goals. I just want to keep my standards high every single day in training and, um, and in games. And as a team, what do you think is a realistic target for the upcoming season? Um, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, to be honest. Um, I just feel as if we focus, um, if we all focus, because there's a lot of ability through the squad, uh, there's a lot of hunger, you know, people want to do well, especially they want to they wanna do well in the biggest league in the world. So I feel as if we all just stay focused and, you know, like respect other teams in the Premier League, but, but not fair them. I feel as if we can, we can achieve something, something good. Yeah. So. Cool. And just finally, just try and sum up how excited you are to be back in the Claret and Blue again in about a month or so. Yeah, I just, it's, you know, it's crazy. Like every now and then, I think about you know, like first game of the season or first game at Villa Park. You know, in the Premier League, where you know everyone's going to be watching around the world, and it's just. It's just what you dream of, man, like literally, so I just can't wait to, can't wait to get started.